Hello Taurus, thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflexive Moon Tarot. I'm Sarah and I will be hosting a general reading for you at this time. So let's get into this and I really hope that this reading resonates with you. If it does, please like, share, subscribe. Nine of Cups, spread the love. And if it doesn't, maybe still like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I appreciate it. Either way, appreciate all the love. So love is at the core of your concern. Finding love, finding happiness, wish fulfillment, your heart's desire being fulfilled. But is it too much? Is it too much? Six of Cups, it's not fulfilling you in a way that speaks to your heart's true nature or your heart's, you know, desire for family, the feeling of security, and, you know, like, you know, that sort of like brother from another mother kind of vibe is either there and it's not what you want because you're trying to romantically pursue a person or, you know, that's what you want. You want a friend. You want a friend that's like that for you, Taurus. And it's not, you're not finding it. So sister from another mister, brother from another mother. I don't know. I don't know. You are on track, though. So this person could be, um, I don't know. I don't know what this person is for you, but they are meant to be here for you on some level for whatever reason, lesson that you need to learn. Something, though, is like, don't rob yourself of an opportunity because of your trauma being triggered. My right hand is itching, so. Lucky, you're lucky. Count your blessings, Taurus. In what ways are you lucky? So, Spiritually, you're holding yourself back. There's something you're missing out on. Maybe you're caught up in some drama. Family drama. That's probably what it is. You might not be feeling very lucky right now. Don't let it don't let it hold you back though. You have this I feel like this is you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going kind of shit. And it's tricky. Like, it sucks when you've already been through a lot. So, if that is, if if that applies to you, if you've already been through some shit, maybe this is just like, it might not be that big of a deal, but this is just how it is. Like, it doesn't work where, I feel like it's safe to say that just because we've been dealt some heavy ass shit in our lives does not mean that we will no longer have to continue dealing with stupid bullshit for a while. And I feel like the trick is just churning through it, keeping the circle moving, you know? People trying to act like they're your homie, lover, friend for some long time shit. Move on. Quickly. Move on. If you don't move on, if you stay stuck on, you know, a circle of homie, lover, friends, like, where's that going to get you? Where is that going to get you? Other than everybody being everybody's fucking village bicycle. 
Ew, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> You're so much better than that. Like you come from a place where you have survived desperate times, desperate measures. Why would you? Why would you be like let yourself get stuck in a trap like that? Queen of Swords. So there is somebody in your near future. I don't know if this is you. It could be you needing to smarten up, needing to stop getting caught up in bullshit in he said, she said, they said, we said, you said, me said. Like, or this is somebody who's really just meant to nurture your mind but robs you of your mental energy so that you can't focus on what you need to learn. So watch out. This could be you being your own worst enemy or someone actually in your circle, in your family, in your circle of close friends that really is just making it difficult for you to expand your mind. You may have been raised in a way where your mind was conditioned to protect itself but also stay closed off at the same time so how are you going to move out of that changing your attitude that's how you're going to move out of that because you're you got to figure out a way to get lit and stay that way maybe you see that you're not lit and that's the problem and sometimes like yeah you can say fake it till you make it but there is a time and a place where fake ass shit is just not going to work for you so what does it mean like what are your access needs what are your like lighting a fire even i don't know or how are you abusing fire how are you using fire in a way that is actually stealing your fire as opposed to sub sustainably maintaining your fire like where are you directing your energy what are you giving energy to some bullshit it's all around you it's hard to choose it's hard to pick a direction spiritually speaking there might be a lot of catastrophic thinking that you subject yourself to. I know it's hard, like sometimes, because being a Taurus, like your nature is very earthly and grounded and powerful and strong and also unfortunately stubborn. It's, you know, like when you think about rock hard headedness, right? So this could be you needing to be your own best friend in your environment, in your surroundings. Somebody to hold down the domestic front. How are you holding down your domestic front? How are you showing up for yourself at home? That's, that's very essential. It's necessary. How much sleep are you getting? Are you getting too much sleep? Are you being lazy? The night of... The Knight of Coins, when reversed, especially, is lazy AF. Or, like, without demonizing you or a person who you may have to be responsible for or a person in your life that is attached to you in whatever way. I don't, like, it doesn't really matter the nature of the relationship. If they're, um... If they're heavy or if they're causing you to lose sleep, if they're draining you and not really being the energy that you need to stay grounded and to protect your home, what's the point in having them around? 
If they're not gonna, if they're not there for you in some type of way that serves a purpose that we all need, safety and security, sleep, <laughs> food, right? Or if they're just dangling this idea of success, meanwhile they're just like pimping you for a place to crash out or whatever, like it could be anything. They're dangling. Something's dangling. Like you really have to entice this person with money. And maybe this could even be as so simple as like giving, um, like offering a child chores to learn how to be responsible and make money. And not be lazy. So... Within your environment, the way that others see you is that you, you or this person need to sort of wake up and start focusing your energy. Because it's hard. Like the knights struggle the most with focusing their energy. They have so much energy and they need a queen to, to give them orders. It's as simple as that. They need a queen or a king to send the orders out. They do not govern the state. And... You're worried that it's not going to end for you. You're worried that you're going to be stuck in the shit. That it's just going to continue. But this is a fear. And you don't want to fulfill your own prophecy by subjecting yourself to this fear all the time. So I, with everything else, you need to put that fear in check. Because the tower, oops, sorry. The tower is going to turn upright for you. It's going to end. At some point, <laughs> this is your kid. At some point, they're going to have to grow up and be out on their own, right? Coddling is going to come to an end. And if this is a relationship, somebody who's sucking your energy, it's going to come to an end. Like, you're going to be over it. It's just not going to be agreeable. It's going to have to be a new system put in place. A new way of seeing things. And if, you know, it's like, if you don't like it, then leave. And it's okay. And if they're doing whatever they can to stay, you need to do whatever you can to get them out. So in this situation, you know, we have this fabulous earth being here, awakening to the idea of what they've been impregnated with on some level, not necessarily pregnant, but, and even having a helper, helping them set their intentions, helping them shed their skin shed themselves of whatever it is in their house that they don't need anymore. Yeah, getting rid of this, this jealous this jealous mofo who has a shitty reputation or has a reputation for being shitty. And, you know, if this is you, if this is you and you're ruling your empire in a way where you've got a bad rep, like, how do you want to deal with that? It's got to come to an end. And so, at some point, you have to decide How it's going to look for you how you want it to look for you you have to decide whether or not you're going to continue on and care about where you move forward to care about the direction you're moving in or don't but your soul is going to impact your soul whatever decision you make but i'm like i hope like goodbye bye <laughs> Yeah, and new perspective. Oh, thank you and you're welcome. Goodness gracious. I was just like, why? This is not nice. 
been through so much shit. Why are you going to sell out on yourself the most? Don't do it. New perspective is going to be your gift moving forward with whatever with whatever happens and the decisions that you make. I'm dropping cards everywhere here. I've got to pick them up. But yeah. Pick it up. All right. Thank you so much, Taurus. I really appreciate your presence here. And I look forward to reading for you again. Bye for now.